Hey guys, it's Feeding Friends 91 and I um wanted to talk to you about episode 3. Now, I know that episode 3 is the um like it's old, you know, everybody's played through it basically now and you know episode season 2 is out, but there was always something about episode 3 that really got to me, so I wanted to just talk about it. And it's not about the characters themselves, it's more about how the developers probably w went through their thinking phrase and all that stuff about it. Now, there's just some stuff I wanted to um, discuss, um, per se, because there's some stuff about this episode that never really truly made sense to me, and it, it, it kind of, I mean, it was a good episode, but it was kind of one of those that I, that I played through and I was like, did they really do that? Did this just happen? It's like, and it was wow, and it wasn't just like disappointment because they killed, like literally, episode 3 I think is with the most people that they kill in, in the group at least. Like, I'm not sure if, um, more people probably die in other episodes, but not in the group, and actually more people probably don't die in other episodes, because the bandits even died in this episode. But anyway, like I said, I, I wanted to take this video just to explain the both flaws and good things about episode 3, but mostly, I just wanted to talk about how, how um, the characters may have changed, or at least the developers have changed their ideas about the characters, when they've made episode three. All right. The basic, my basic beef with this episode actually starts during the whole RV scene, and how the people in it. Like, all right, um, yes, we know that um, they were. I think um, with let me just go to writing process actually, because I'm more talking about the developers, what was going through their minds as they wrote this episode. Because this episode, and episode three, is considered a hump episode, if in a five series thing. Usually, it's kind of like um, how Wednesday is the hump day of the week. It's the episode where you have to like establish certain things so that they can flow from episode three onward. If you guys notice, episode three really opened a lot of doors that weren't closed to episode five. You know, like um, the stranger, and it and it, uh, with the whole um, get to Savannah with the whole Omid and Krista situation and everything. So episode three really opened a lot of um, doors that. And it really started a lot of new things, and that's what it is like. It's uh, it's just like the episode that is supposed to really lead to all the other episodes. Because if you notice, episode one and two weren't as connected to the la episode four and five as episode three were. So the devs prop. This is what I just think they thought through. Because devs, one thing about development is that you don't know usually know everything that's going to happen when it before it happens you don't know like the devs didn't get together and say all right we're going to do this rv scene like this no like they probably got together and they were they they probably talked about end results first that's what you usually well, that's what i do at least um i talk about end results before i get to the actual progress of it so let's just think it's like this let's just think about this um let's say they got together and was like i think the episode actually revolved around lily okay the first part of it just the first part because this is what I think the devs did. They got together and they're like, how do we get Lily out of here? Okay? Because, think of it. They knew from episode one they would have to get Lily to Woodbury around this time. Because Woodbury happened around this time. So they had to get her there before Rick and them got to Woodbury. So they were like, we got to get Lily somehow from this group. So they were just thinking, Lily, Lily, Lily. And they're like, let's, I bet they thought of so many different things. Like, I bet they thought of um, Kenny leaving her behind at the RV like he suggested. I bet they thought of, like, um, maybe her just leaving because of what happened to her father and stuff like that. I think at the end they were like, all this stuff is too weak. For Lily to just up and leave the group that she's been trying to lead this whole time, she would have to, um, they would have to think of something big. And then I bet one dev was just like, let's have her kill somebody. And then, the, and then this was kind of killing two birds with one stone because I bet this whole time, even from episode two, that they were thinking, we need to get rid of either Carly or Doug. I think they wanted to stop having two scripts. I think they wanted to be able to just, let's just keep going on how we want to have it and not have to make like a bunch of different scripts for these two characters who may or may not be here. So... That's why I think they were like, we need to get rid of Carly. Let's have Killy, Lily, I mean, my bad, kill Doug or Carly. And that way they, we don't have to keep on making a bunch of scripts. We can just keep the 
seen the same. Because imagine Carly and Doug's differences in episode 4 and 5. Imagine how Carly would have reacted to Omid and Krista. And how Doug would have reacted to Omid and Krista. Imagine the differences they would have had to put in there for them to for them to um make sense. You can't just give Carly's Doug's lines or vice versa. So it would have been a lot harder for them to write episode 4 and 5 with Carly and Doug alive. Then came Katja and Duck. And like I said before, I don't think Duck was meant to die in episode 3. Because they show him riding shotgun in the train. And I really don't think that... I mean, he never rode shotgun in the train. So I really think that... Also, if you notice, Duck is completely lying face down on the ground when the walker attacks him. So that means that the walker would had had to somehow lift him up and bite his belly because he was bitten on the stomach before Lee shot him and that doesn't make any sense so to me duck dying was kind of like a last minute thing I really think they are like you know we can't because they want to get rid of Katja I, like I said before I really think they really took down this thing and they were, they were like who do we need to get rid of and they were like we need to get rid of Lily, Katja and Carly and I really think that they were trying to figure out how to get rid of Katja, and that really puzzled them. Because, you know, they, they could have had Katja be the one to be bitten by the walker instead of Duck, and the Duck would have lived. But this is me thinking that that would have been really weak if, imagine, if Katja was died that way rather than Duck. It wouldn't have been as good. So I think they got together and they were like, we have to have Duck die so Katja will commit suicide. And I really think that was the whole point of Duck's death, just for his mom to die. Like, they didn't want Duck to die, but they had to, they didn't really see another viable option. But the thing about this is, that's why I think episode 3 was a bit rushed. I think it seems like, not, not rushed in the sense that they tried to finish beforehand, but I really think that they, in a sense, were like, we just need to get rid of these characters, so let's just find these ways to get rid of them, so we can introduce Kristen, Omid, and Chuck. And, you know, we can get them to the new storylines, get over this hump of these characters. I really think they what they did was they got together and they were like, what characters do we not see progressing the storyline? And they made the list and they were like, okay, let's get rid of them. And they kind of just made this ragtag way to get rid of all of them at once. If you notice, all of the attack, all of the reasons that people die in this episode is because of the attack on the motor in. Lily gets mad because the attack was caused by someone. And then um, Carly dies because of, or Doug dies because of Lily being mad. And then Lily leaves because she feels unaccepted. And then Katja leaves, uh, Katja dies because of Duck's bite and she commits suicide. So I really think the devs just got together and were like, um, we need Lily gone, we need Katja gone, we need Duck gone, we need all these people gone. So let's just get rid of them. And they got rid of them in that sense. And, they, and, they, and that's why they kind of like, we need to get rid of them all one shot. And then one dev is like, okay, let's just have the motor and attack and they all die because of it. So yeah, that's my two cents on episode three. I really think it was kind of rushed because they were just at the, it's the hump episode. They really just wanted, they really had to find a way to get the end of the episode to where they needed it to be. So they just kind of in one shot decided to get rid of four characters main characters in the game just so they could move on to the other characters they wanted to get to later. So actually after episode 3 I stopped playing the game because I was kind of mad at that. I was kind of like alright that was just done way too quickly. That was just done way too hazardly and it was just even though it was a sad way for people to leave and die it still felt like it was rushed. Like they were just like we need these people gone let's all get them gone one time. Alright thanks for watching like comment subscribe and God bless.